You may be happy to create a template, upload it to the marketplace, and hope for the best. Or you may be looking to drive more traffic to your templates and maybe even make some money off of them. If you're in the latter camp, this video is for you. Here we'll talk about free marketing tactics to represent your brand and your templates to the world. If you take one thing away from this lesson, remember that all marketing efforts can be represented as a funnel. Or said another way, you can't get to sales without first telling people that your product exists. When it comes to template creation, consider three goals in your funnel, awareness, engagement, and conversion. So how can you bolster your efforts at each stage of the funnel? Let's start from the beginning. Generating awareness for templates happens through channels that have broad reach, like email newsletters or social media. Regardless of the content format, you'll wanna tell a story that highlights the value of your template. What problem are you solving for people? How are you solving it? Focus on that. For example, Notion Startup in a Box video demonstrates how startup operators might use this collection of templates to run their business all in one place. Here's a tip on this topic from a creator. I started to record YouTube videos. I just put them all out. Did not expect this in any way to change the course of my career, but it did. It took off and very quickly I realized, oh, this is a great fit for me. As you think about generating awareness, you wanna provide a really clear call to action for people who are ready to take the next step and engage with your content. This should be a link to your creator profile or a longer demo video, or even a free version of the specific template you're featuring in your content. Why a free version? This is a great segue to the next step. In order to get people to engage with your listings, you wanna offer them a lightweight way to get started. But this doesn't mean you have to give away your highly valuable template for free. Instead, try to provide a smaller way for users to get a taste of what you're selling. This will most commonly be a free version of your template, either a small slice of the bigger product or a non-scalable version, or you can engage with users in other ways, like a video or a webinar, or even a short consulting call to share how your template may meet users' needs. Here's an example of how it all comes together for Recall It All. This creator offers a free wedding guest manager, which is just a slice of the overall process of planning a wedding, with the hopes of inspiring spouses-to-be to try out the all-in-one wedding planner, which is more complex and costs a small fee. So by far, my most popular template, there's a free version to it and there's the paid version of it. So the free version is the client portal. And like I said, there's a paid upgrade to that where it sort of takes the client portal and bu builds it into sort of more of a freelancer operating system. This is essentially the business model for every freemium product. Again, this dovetails nicely to the final step, conversion. We'll dive into the mechanics of selling templates in the next two lessons. But for now, don't forget to use your free offerings to provide an actionable way for users to find and use your paid ones. If selling templates is your final goal, considering adding links to your paid versions inside of your free templates. Or if you're hoping to drive some other sort of business like consulting or course sales, you could advertise those too in your free templates, as long as they don't take away from the main purpose of your template. Our only advice here is to keep it classy People will be more willing to engage with you over time if you provide genuine value and don't overwhelm them with aggressive marketing tactics. Remember, building trust and relationships with your audience is key to long-term success in template creation and marketing. Now that we've covered the basics of marketing your templates, let's dive into a practical example to explore how this whole funnel comes together. We have a marketing funnel that's fairly simple, and there's a few different paths that uh, potential customers can take to end up landing on our sales pages and hopefully buying a template. So the simplest one is I make YouTube videos, and in some of those YouTube videos, I say, hey, if you're looking for an all-in-one productivity system that has note-taking and task management, goal tracking, all that good stuff, totally nailed down for you, done for you, you can go over to thomasjfrank.com slash brain and get a copy of Ultimate Brain. That is the simplest way of doing it. And I've often found that simple really, really makes sense, especially for lower price products. And when I say lower price products, I mean anything that's not like a high ticket, almost thousand dollar or more than thousand dollar premium offering. Um, and I'm noting this because a lot of people think they need to build really complicated email marketing funnels with multiple day or week autoresponders or webinars and things like that. That stuff can work, but in many cases, 
that magic seventh interaction with a potential lead. I think there's some marketing research around like seven exposures to an ad gets someone to buy on average or something like that. Um, and so if I go, hey, go over to this weird lead magnet I have and then go through a 10 day email sequence and then I'll pitch you, I might be wasting the opportunity to say, hey, you might have a problem and I have the solution. Here it is. If you want to support my work and you want a great product, you can buy it. Here's a discount code. Um, so that's the simplest way that we do it. We also do have free templates that we give out. So a lot of the YouTube videos I make are tutorials where I teach people how to build things like habit trackers or simple task managers or like a para system for uh, Tiago Forte's second brain organization. And people can build those and then they can get a fully working product. Or if they don't want to, they can go over and get the free template that I put together, which basically just makes, lets them skip all the work. This approach hopefully shows how offering free templates can naturally lead users to explore and potentially purchase more advanced solutions, creating a win-win for both creators and users. And there you have it. Here we've covered all the essentials of marketing your Notion templates. As you develop your marketing strategy, focus on building a clear funnel with steps of awareness, engagement, and conversion. But really, the first step is just getting started. <laughs>